Hey everyone, it's Aaron here from Zero One Racing and this is going to be a quick video on how you can customise Zero Chassis to suit your preferences and what works best for you. So the first thing we're going to customise is our layout. So we can change the size of the three main areas using these drag bars. Now this is mainly personal preference as to how large you want each area, although I would recommend making the setup column area at least large enough so that the setup icons don't reduce in size like this. Right, okay, so now we're gonna customize the size of our secondary graph. So when we're on the graph tab, the bike is our secondary item, and when we're on the bike tab, the graph is our secondary item and you can resize these just by grabbing the corner and dragging. So personally, I like to make these as large as possible without having them interfering in any other areas. Okay, so next we're gonna customize our results area and we're able to turn on or turn off any of the results just by right clicking and going to choose results. So if there are any results that we're not interested in, we can just hide them and this will give us a cleaner layout with only the things displayed that we're concerned with. We're also able to customize which rows are displayed in bold. So if there are certain ones which we want to be able to easily pick out, we can just put them in bold and now they pop out when we analyze our setups. And the same can also be done for the setup adjustments area down here. So the results color map feature can also be turned off if necessary and this is the thing which colours the cell backgrounds a different shade of green depending on how significant the change in value is from the first bike column. If you need to adjust the font size, this can also be changed uh, just by going up here to the settings menu and then selecting font size. Okay, next up, if we look above the setup boxes, we have different filters and these let us filter the setups that are displayed when we click the setup dropdowns. But each of these can be shown or hidden just by going to the settings menu and turning them on or off. For example, if you only work with one rider, then the rider filter may not be useful to you, so you can just turn it off to save space. So we currently have three bike columns showing, but we do have the option to change this just by going to the number of bikes menu here so for example, if we wanted to, we could select four columns instead. After doing this though, it may be necessary to readjust the size of your setup column areas using the vertical drag bar, just to give yourself a bit more room. Okay, moving on, we're now gonna customize our bike graph. There are lots of values that can be displayed on the bike and these can be turned on or off from the toolbar here. Uh, if you're not sure of what any of these refer to, just hover the cursor over them and it will tell you. So by default, the bikes on the bike graph are aligned at the front wheel contact patch. But there are other options of how we can align the bikes. If we click this button here, uh, we can see there are several different options of how we can align them. Now this is purely to help you visualize the changes to the geometry in the best way possible for you. And it doesn't actually affect any of the calculated values. So I hope this has helped you personalize and get the most out of Zero Chassis. And thanks for watching.